29 German Pinscher Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. The German Pinscher, also known as the Standard Pinscher, is a sturdy, medium-sized dog with a square build. The breed is larger than a Min Pin, but smaller than a Doberman, standing at an average height of 17 to 20 inches for both males and females. Typically, they weigh between 25 and 45 pounds, but some may be a bit smaller or larger than the average. Number 2. The German Pinscher is easily recognized by its distinctive ears, which are medium-sized, triangular, and stand upright. These ears contribute to their alert and intelligent appearance. When cropped, the ears are set high, symmetrical, and carry direct. Number 3. These dogs have a short, smooth coat that's close to their body, giving them a sleek and glossy look. The coat is dense and comes in colors like black, brown, fawn, and tan. Some have a hint of blue in their black coats, while red German Pinschers are quite common, displaying various shades of medium to dark reddish brown. Number 4. The tail of a German Pinscher is traditionally docked. Although in some countries and in regions where docking is prohibited, they may have a natural tail. The docked tail, when present, is usually short and carry direct. Number 5. The eyes of a German Pinscher are medium-sized, oval-shaped, and dark. They convey a lively and intelligent expression. These eyes are set moderately deep and contribute to the dog's alert demeanor. Number 6. These dogs move smoothly and efficiently, showcasing their agility and stamina. They walk with confidence, coordinating their movements well. Their trot is relaxed, balanced, and powerful, with a good stride length, strong drive, and free front extension. The back stays firm and level, avoiding any swaying, rolling, or arching. Number 7. If your dog doesn't have an AKC-approved color, has an over or under bite, is missing primary molars, has excessive tuck-up, or has a tail set too low and carried below horizontal, they can be disqualified as per the American Kennel Club standards. In German pinchers, the tail is typically docked between the second and third joints. A long back, roach back, or sway back is also not good. Number 8. Known for their intelligence, German pinchers are quick learners who are eager to please their owners. If you're looking for a clever and fast-learning dog, the German pincher is a great choice. They're eager to please and do exceptionally well in obedience and agility training, making them a joy to train. Number 9. Despite their sharp intellect and decent intelligence ranking, pinchers are quick learners and easy to train. Yet, their stubborn and independent nature means they require an experienced owner who knows how to keep them engaged and disciplined. Number 10. German pinchers are born with a protective instinct, always ready to guard their families and homes. Their vigilance and strong loyalty make them excellent watchdogs, quick to alert owners to possible dangers. They quickly let their families know about any possible dangers or intruders with their sharp senses. Number 11. German pinchers are pretty chatty and express themselves with a unique voice using barks, whines, and growls. They're great at communicating their feelings and make for lively and entertaining companions. Number 12. If raised with other dogs, most German pinchers tend to live peacefully, but some can be dominant or aggressive towards dogs of the same sex. They also tend to have a strong prey drive and may chase after anything that runs, including cats. Number 13. Making sure your German pincher gets enough physical exercise and mental stimulation every day is essential. If not, they might get too energetic and start showing problematic behaviors. Training and socializing are also necessary. Without these, an unoccupied and untrained German pincher might end up getting bored and causing damage to your furniture with excessive chewing. Number 14. If you want a faithful companion that sticks by your side, a German pincher might be the perfect breed for you. However, be aware that they can get separation anxiety when left alone, so you gotta train them to become comfortable on their own. Number 15. German pinchers usually live between 12 and 14 years. Things like genes, food, exercise, and health care can affect how long they live. Taking them to the vet, giving good food, making sure they move around, and showing love helps them stay healthy and live longer. Number 16. Most German pinchers are healthy, but like all breeds, they may face specific health challenges. Not every German pincher will encounter these problems, but it's very important to understand them if you're interested in this breed. Some potential issues include hip dysplasia, cataracts, elbow dysplasia, and eye problems. Number 17. Dogs, especially Dobermans and German pinchers, can inherit von Willebrand disease, which is a genetic bleeding disorder common in canines. This condition is caused by a deficiency in a clotting protein, making affected dogs more prone to bleeding. Number 18. German pinchers can suffer from glycogen storage disease, which is a severe metabolic disorder that causes extreme low blood sugar levels and enlargement of the liver. But thankfully, the specific genetic variant responsible for this condition has been identified. Number 19. Originating in Germany, the German Pinscher is among the country's oldest dog breeds. Despite its long history, the exact details of its development remain a mystery. With no clear documentation on when this noble breed first emerged, they're believed to be the oldest among their kind and played a role in shaping breeds like the Dobermans and Schnauzers. Number 20. There were two varieties of German Pinschers back in the day, one with rough hair and the other with smooth hair, both going by the name Deutscher Pinscher. It wasn't uncommon to see both types in a single litter. The rough-haired ones 
later transformed into standard schnauzers, also nicknamed rattlers. Number 21. Back in 1836, a German botanist, ornithologist, and illustrator named Heinrich Gottlieb Ludwig Reichenbach mentioned the smooth pincher. Fast forward to 1880, and the pincher was officially registered in the Dwechen Delgierten Commission. Number 22. It's cool to note that pincher in German means to nip or seize, which totally fits with the breed's historical job title. Back in the day, German pinchers were the go-to pest control on farms, especially for keeping rats in check. Number 23. Back in 1895, a German artist named Ludwig Beckmann listed five pincher types, some with rough coats, others with smooth ones. They also mentioned the miniature pincher and the affin pincher. Around that time, folks got together and created the Pincher Schnauzer Club for both rough and smooth-coated pups. Number 20. After the start of the Second World War in 1939, the German pincher breed experienced a significant decrease in population. By 1949, the situation became critical as the last known litter was born in West Germany and no new litters arrived for almost a decade. Werner Young, as the devoted breed supervisor of the German Pincher Schnauzer Club, took on the challenge of saving the breed from extinction and played a key role in revitalizing it. Number 25. The pincher got famous worldwide in 1955 after the Federation Sinologic International approved it. Even so, it's still at risk because in 2003 it was labeled the Endangered Breed of the Year by the Society for the Preservation of Ancient and Endangered Domestic Animal Breeds in Germany. In 2022, it was categorized as Endangered in Category 3 of the road list by the same organization. Number 26. The breed's fight for survival is evident in the recorded count of breeding, which stood at just 40 in 2003. Despite ongoing efforts, the annual puppy count remained consistently low, ranging between 350 and 450 from 2008 to 2017, with slightly over 50 litters in both 2016 and 2017. Number 27. It wasn't until the late 70s that German pinchers came to the US, yet they gained AKC recognition only in 2003. Today, these dogs are common as pets, show dogs, and are also known for their loyalty and intelligence in therapy and service roles. Number 28. These dogs have become favorites around the world. The German pincher is a globally beloved breed, ranking 145th in the American Kennel Club's 2022 list of popular dog breeds in America out of 199 breeds based on nationwide registrations. Number 29. The average price for a German pincher falls between $1,500 and $3,000. But this can vary depending on different factors, so it's a good idea to take some extra time to research and compare prices from different breeders to ensure you get a reasonable deal. Alright guys, now which of these German pincher facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.